在刚才的报道当中，我们看到的这一家以色列辅具中心发展出了一套制度，叫做 hospital， 把房子 house 还有医院 hospital 两个字合并起来，意义就是经过医院评估，不需要住院，可以直接回家休养的病人，就由中心提供全套的辅具，把专业的病房服务搬回家。他们用卡车把这个病人需要的全部硬体设备都运到府上，再由社区的居家服务人员。接手照顾，在以色列全部大约七百万人口当中，一年就有四十一万人口接受这项服务，而这样的成功经验也输出到了其他国家。需要的人先打电话，由志工接听咨询评估，再约时间到柜台办理。It will be given to them. No questions asked. They leave a deposit. They're given originally the equipment for one month. They're told that if they want to extend, they can ring up and extend the period of the loan. And that after three months, unless they ask for special permission to keep it longer, they should bring the equipment back. They will be the equipment will be returned to them unless they choose to leave some of the or all of the deposit as a donation. 然后到仓库柜台领取，并且负责教导使用，回答疑虑。Things he told him is that before anybody sits in a wheelchair or gets out of the wheelchair, you have to put on the brake. If they need an explanation, this guy just he just brought it back. 由于流程细致，借用争议逐年减少。If he can't walk properly, and all he does is push, he's going to fall. Every wheelchair has to be brought back to Jerusalem at least once a year, in order to be taking a part. Everything is checked, and then to be reassembled and continue his way to one of our branches. 还有辅具展示间这是为了避免需要的人像无头苍蝇到处去找，浪费时间又挫折。When you go to a shop, it's run by people who want to make money, and they will try and sell you a wheelchair that is more expensive than the one the government will pay for. So people can come here. First of all, they can get the wheelchair from the first day of their disability. Secondly, they can come here and they can ask for advice and guidance from the centre, from the occupational therapists, who will tell them. In our opinion, you need this kind of wheelchair with this kind of cushion, or you need a wheelchair that has the Where you can put both your feet up, or you need a wheelchair where the back can be fine. Let's go. You can see how I go. It gives them quality of life. It gives them their dignity back. It shows that there's still people. It doesn't mean that if you have a disability, that you can't do for yourself. We encourage people to do as much as they can for themselves, because that way they retain their self-esteem. So if it's wet, you suction it, and somebody can brush their nails with with one hand, or cut their nails with one hand. 
，更怕买到不实用的。Thank you。所以不断收集市面上最新的辅具和使用的情境。You can take a brush. And you can put the cards in a brush, and then you can play cards with your friends. We can help them to adapt things in their own houses to people's needs, and we can show them that disability can be conquerable. I think is the last person when people want help. We have all kinds of seats. This slide would be for somebody who's had an amputation. And only has one leg. 有些设施，台湾辅具展也有，但是从医院出来，四处慌乱寻找的人却不见得能像在这里一样方便一次浏览试用。I didn't have it when my husband was sick. Otherwise, I would have bought one. You're a big man. Yeah. And if, say, my husband, he weighed, I don't know, eighty kilos, to pick up eighty kilos from there, I wouldn't have a bag. I, I had, he had a chair like this, not, um, but higher, has to be high, by himself at home, couldn't sit in a chair like this. As well as mobile dental clinics, which treat patients of all ages who are confined to their homes. Rekho is the world's number five in the world. In 1978, he started to get rid of the insurance. In 1986, he was in the hospital. In 1988, he was in the hospital. In 1989, he was in the hospital. They can do things safely, maybe not in the same comfort, but you can take these very simple chair raisers. We make these in Yatsara. You take any ordinary chair, you put on a good cushion, and the idea is that the higher you are, the easier it is to get out of the chair. Help the person get up. Also, people's respect and care for the patient. If you're lying in bed, you haven't got enough strength. You need something to help you sit up. So, with a rope, you hold it, and you can pull yourself if you have strength in your arms until you're in a sitting position. Increase the safety and reduce the burden of the design. Continue development. Can make themselves a cup of coffee by themselves, even if they only have one hand, safely. We have gadgets that help you turn knobs safely. Is that a magnet? No, no, yes. magnet. It'll it'll turn. You hold it here, and it'll turn the gas. Because the, these buttons are small, and somebody with a with a problem with their hands couldn't do it. Even for an elderly person. It can be adjusted, height adjusted, so you could be sitting, standing. Um, when, when I had the bad back, I couldn't sit. I could stand and I could lie. I couldn't sit. But on something like this, you're kind of, you can adjust it to your height, and you can half sit. How do we cut? We cut like this. 家庭生活设施为失能者在地老化带来自主生活的机会，又维持社交。Or that he's going to embarrass himself, or his children, or his grandchildren, and we can also he can also take with him a little bit of non-stick, so that the plate doesn't move. He knows that he can go to a restaurant, he can go to his children's house, he can be taken to friends' house. He won't make such a mess that he'll feel bad and everybody else will feel bad. Keeps his health dignity. As long as it is possible, we want to enable them to stay at home. You know, with their families, within their community, with the uh, environment that they are used to. Uh, uh, they might go to the synagogue, to the temple, to uh, the church, to the, to the uh, mosque, wherever they want to go. And uh, by, the, by doing that, uh, their quality of life 
is really is kept in a, in a, a, a reasonable uh, standard or level. Um, this is the deluxe model. Somebody um, really needs a hospital bed, but occasionally they want to sit in a chair and bring him into the living room. That's the kind of uh, chair. You see, it comes down. They can transfer it. It comes all much and much. And take all the cushions off. Make sure right there. Anything that comes in contact with the body, they buy the plastics. Yeah. All this you buy. 其他则重复使用, we provide the patient with everything that he got in a hospital, talking about, about medical equipment, okay? If, it, if he needs a hospital bed, electronic bed, if he needs a hoist, if he needs a wheelchair, a commode, oxygen concentrator, pulse oximeter, a, a kangaroo, you know what kangaroo is? Is, is the, the uh, kangaroo is the instrument that uh, controls the feeding machine uh, uh, that goes directly to the stomach of the patient if he needs it, and so on and so forth. I don't know what is the situation in that case in Taiwan because saving. That amount of money depends in you know how much money you pay for every day of hospitalization and so on and so forth. You know, you know, to die with dignity, we call it. The problem is that when he goes home, he needs all the equipment that he had in a hospital. And that's exactly what we are doing. The transportation service for people in wheelchairs. Because the alternative which means to institutionalize those people, uh, that means that their quality of life will be deteriorated very, very rapidly, and it's very costly. I don't know what is the situation in Taiwan, but in Israel, we have, uh, I think, the lowest beds rate per thousand population in the Western world or in the developed world. That means it's something like 2.1, 2.2 per thousand people in the population. That means that there is a lot of pressure of the hospital to discharge patients in order to get to, uh, to admit new patients, okay? Most of the time we have Russian speaker, but if you don't have, we have... Um, we have an option to do... They can have a conference call. A conference call. You can put call. it through to somebody yeah, with a Russian speaker. Mrs. Zetufia. Mrs. Zetufia. Mrs. Zetufia. Mrs. Zetufia. Mrs. Zetufia. When people register for our service, they get a form to fill in all their details, all their contact numbers, medical history, languages they speak, everything is recorded. So when they do press the button, the call comes in here, phone call, all the details of the person calling will appear on the screen. The emergency response alarm system is Operators, they will check once a month. If they don't hear from one of the subscribers, they will ring them up and find out if everything's okay. They will check that the machines are working because these things need batteries occasionally. Not very often, they need minimal upkeep. 
，现在又研发新界面。Has already been assisted by Yad Sarah volunteers. Yad Sarah 后来将辅具服务扩展到全以色列。统计总人口七百万的国家，一年有四十一万人得到帮助，平均每两个家庭就有一个接触过此机构。后来成为联合国志工和弱势照顾的顾问，输出经验到他国。业务庞大，志工为主，调度能做到服务稳定，不容易。We really understanding the volunteers' expectations, because volunteers come with this idea of what they would like to do, and sometimes it doesn't really correlate with what the organization needs. So bringing them down to reality. 主管认为，招募、速配都重要。Because what may happen is you may have a volunteer coming in, and somebody says, "Well, I have a need for a particular client, but that person doesn't fit in with that." And maybe it would be much better to send them to do in-house work or in another completely different department, and there they would be much happier. And this is a very, very important issue because the entrance. And making sure that there is a very good match. You don't make a good match, and the volunteer leaves, and the commitment falls, and and then you're back to square one again, and running around after yourself. And especially for home care, this is not for anybody. And Yatsa does a lot on、um, lending out medical equipment, which is much easier. You don't have to deal with people that are in distress that much. You see them for a short period of time, but home care is going to their home. On an individual basis, is providing them with trying to work out how you build a relationship. It's not always that easy. It's very, very strong in Jewish religion.、Um, community is something that's very strong in giving back to the community. We have a saying: giving back quietly. <laughs> 服务挑战多，志工因为训练支持完备而发挥能力。帮助失能者，还鼓励人应做志工，正向的思考人生。这是以色列因应长照需要，在资源短缺条件下，可观的支持力量。以色列全民皆兵，在路上到处都是荷枪实弹的军人。不过，他们也有一颗柔软的心，在社区里头可以看到他们在照顾老人家。下个星期，独立特派员将继续前进以色列。而另一方面，针对国内物价涨得凶，公平会明察暗访，真的有用吗？我们也将有深入报道。看趋势，说真话，我是黄明明，独立特派员。谢谢您今天的收看，我们下周再会。